Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, uh, today I got the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II and we are going to go out, check out the surf and hopefully shoot some cool action sports with it and test how fast this thing can actually focus and how fast it can actually shoot photos because apparently it's pretty crazy. Um, I spent a couple of hours setting the thing up. Uh, I'm not gonna share this in the video, but we're gonna talk a little more about the performance and the actual real world use of this thing. So bear with me, let's go test this machine. M1 Mark II with the 300mm. Uh, why am I shooting surf? Because there's so much movement. For a camera like this, I remember with the EM1 Mark I, it was a real challenge to shoot that much surf. I shoot surf because you have all this water movement, especially shooting in the water. You have this movement right in front of you. The whole ocean is always moving. Plus the surfer is coming towards you or going away from you or is going left or right and it's a real focusing challenge for a camera so I figured this is a really good test for this new camera that focuses so incredibly fast so let's see what we can get right a couple of bursts in I'm realizing that my camera is actually focusing too fast now, I'm absolutely not worried about this. Um, I'm actually very happy that it's doing this. Uh, this means the focus is faster than I can track my subject. It means if my focus point is not spot on, I'm using one point focusing for now, then as soon as my surfer or my subject leaves the frame, um, I get the focus on the back, so it'll focus on the ocean in the background. So I'm gonna slow down the autofocus lock so it doesn't lock down as quick. All right, um, so far so good. Uh, I've shot a couple of bursts, it's working out much better now. I've slowed down the focus sensitivity a little bit and now it's not jumping to the horizon as quick as it was before, which is great. Um, the next thing I would like to try is pro capture, which means the camera, if you've watched a few reviews before, the camera takes photos as soon as I half press the shutter or which would be probably my AEL, -E AFL button, which is a half focus button for me, focus button. It starts taking photos and it buffers I can set it up as much as I want. I've set it up to buffer 15 photos and when I take the photo it takes another burst of up to also you can set it up as you want up to 30, 40, 50, 60 photos. So I can take a whole range of photos. Now why is this awesome? If I'm shooting surf, the guy I want to get the turn, I want to get the right right position, I want to get the surfer doing the right thing. What will I do is hold it halfway, keep the camera buffering 15 shots. So basically it's taking taking photos all the time and it's always deleting the last uh, so it takes 15 photos the next photo it'll take it'll keep that one but it'll delete photo one take the 17th photo delete photo two so it, it has this buffer that keeps on going and going and going no other camera in the world can do this um, it's actually quite an exciting feature I didn't realize but it's actually really amazing it's a really smart feature uh, what can I do I'm gonna follow the surfer make my focus make him follow get the buffer to fill it with 15 frames as soon as the surfer does a jump I'll push that means I might miss the jump, but the 15 frames in front of that will get it. But this is amazing for action sports where things happen in a snap like that. So, uh, really, really good. Okay, I'm doing this as I go. I just set it to pro capture and realized it doesn't do continuous auto focus while doing pro capture. So I have to single, I have to single focus. It also doesn't switch the pro capture mode to the AEL AFL button, which is my single, my focus button. 
it keeps it on the front so I have to push both to actually get the shot um, which is fine I'm doing a single autofocus uh, I guess this works really well for stuff where you can pre-focus, where you can set, all right, this is where the action is going to happen. I don't know when it's going to happen. I know my reaction is going to be too slow for it to get it, the shot. So I'm going to use pro capture, pre-focus, get ready and wait for it to happen and bam, shoot and 15 frames before that, I'll have my photo. So somewhere in there it'll have it. Uh, I must say it shoots at 60 frames a second doing this. So it's incredibly fast and 15 frames is actually not that much. It's only one, one quarter of a second, all right? So, not that much. All right, sun's coming out as you can see. Um, let's switch it up and put the 840, so the extender on, and test the camera at 420 mil, which means 840 at 5.6. Always protect your sensor first, especially on a mirrorless camera where they're always exposed. All right, close your bag on the beach to get the sand down. So now we have the 300 plus the extender plus the best camera you can get from Olympus. Oh, it's snapping away! Yeah, nice. All right, the more I'm using this camera, the more I love it. Um, it is just so fast. I know with the EM1, I know my techniques have been adapted because of the speed of the camera. And that is what you do with every camera. You adapt to the capabilities of the camera. You, you uh, learn what it's capable of. You learn how fast it can focus, how fast it can be ready. And you learn to anticipate that and then work towards it and get your shots in spite of those slow times or in spite of the things that your camera is not so good at. So I knew how to use my EM1 to shoot surf, but this changes the style, I w the way I shoot completely. I can just, it makes it easier. I can point and shoot. Oh, surfer. There, yeah, in focus. And something I can, and I'm shooting with a 840 millimeter. I'm not even, it's, you know, this is, I'm shooting with a laser pointer. So I have to find my subject and I still know if I can just push the button, it'll be in focus and it'll be a great shot. So. For me, that changes big time. I can I can shoot two or three spots at the same time and without worrying that my focus will be off for one shot and then for the next one and then it'll be off for the next one because the camera is just that fast. Um, yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> it's blowing my mind and it's really, really fun to use. All right, a couple of last words about the camera and my experience today. Um, I know it's not like a full review of the camera and there's plenty out there already, so I tried to focus on something that was important for my photography and things that I know about. So for me, that is um, focusing and speed, which is one of the two main things that this camera has over the previous camera. And um, and it was really just a test of those functions today. And I'm, and I'm really surprised about how it performed. It did a lot better than I even expected it to. And I mean, you can read all these numbers online and you can read all these reviews, but this is like one of those cameras that is a lot better than you might think it is. And I think the problem is that um, Olympus called it the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II. And I don't believe it's in line with the EM1 Mark I um, because it just doesn't, I mean, it's a completely different generation of a camera. And I think it, it should have had its own name. That would have also clarified a lot of the discussions about the high price of this camera. And I think it would have sort of made a category for these top end professional cameras where Olympus is now tackling a very different market and a very different audience than it did back with the EM1 Mark I. So I think that's a thing that could have been different. Uh, once people know about this camera and its capabilities and once the right people start using it, I think the audience and the mind frame about this camera might change. Well, I really hope it does. Um, I hope I'll be making more videos in the future about this camera. Uh, I get to use it for the next few weeks and hopefully I'll have one in January for permanent uh, use, maybe a bit earlier, who knows. Um, and I will hopefully make some more videos and, and actually talk about the experience of using it in the way that I normally use it. So that's adventure, outdoor, landscape, 
and some surfing photography as well. So it's, it, for me, this is, um, it's a great new tool and it has all these capabilities, but I still have to learn about this camera and I still have to understand the limits of this camera, which I'm not even aware of yet. And um, then I can actually tell you how good and where this camera actually might be weak, who knows. Um, but for now, I mean, it blew my mind and it's, it's amazing in speed and autofocus and it's nothing you can put in numbers on the piece of paper. It's really something you have to try and test for yourself. So I think I would suggest test it for yourself. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this short review and preview of the camera. <clears throat> uh, if you did, please like the video, subscribe to my channel and check out uh, the comments below. Um, if you have any questions, also feel free to like write some comments. I read all the comments and I always try to respond to everyone in the best way possible. I am an Olympus visionary, so I have contacts at Olympus that you might not have. So if you have any technical questions or really in-depth questions that I don't know the answers to, I am very likely to be able to find out for you. And I really happily do that because it always, um, it's great if I can help people out uh, that have questions that I don't even know the answers to because I also like learning things about the gear I use. Uh, if you do like a lot about photography and you love going outside like me and you love um, a lot more the fact you love the activity of shooting photos more than the gear, then I'd highly suggest checking out my adventure photography on location video series, which is a uh, behind the scenes look in, in what I do as an Olympus visionary and how I approach uh, my photo shoots and how I approach the locations, what techniques I use, what gear I use, what settings I use. And I also help you guys with, um, I also write these long blog articles that are where I go into even more detail. And <clears throat> I'll also, I also provide Lightroom presets. They're really cheap. They always come in packs from eight to 11 presets and you can download them, buy them, download them and use them on your own photos. And, uh, it's the best way to support my work. Really. It really helps me go out and go on new adventures and, possibly invest in new gear equipment, outdoor equipment, and talk about the things I do and share my knowledge with you guys. So if you have bought a preset in the past, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you check out my video series and you really love it and you think the presets are something you could use, then I would highly encourage you to buy some and um, let me know what you think about them as well. <clears throat> um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time.